This video is going to be about fermentation. So fermentation is going to take place when our cells don't have oxygen available to use for aerobic cellular respiration. So the first step of either of the two kinds of fermentation is going to be glycolysis. So glycolysis is going to produce two molecules of pyruvate as well as two molecules of ATP and two NADHs. Now in this kind of fermentation, which is alcohol fermentation, we have to convert this pyruvate into something else called acetaldehyde before we can feed it into the fermentation pathway. So when we convert pyruvate to acetaldehyde, we lose a molecule of CO2. So now this acetaldehyde can be reduced to form ethanol. And what we use to actually reduce that acetaldehyde are the two NADHs that were produced in glycolysis. So when we use those two NADHs to reduce acetaldehyde, they regenerate NAD+, that glycolysis can then reuse to generate more ATP. So that's really the most important part of fermentation is the regeneration of this NAD+, that way glycolysis can continue to run forward and produce more ATP for our cells. So now we'll look at lactic acid fermentation. So lactic acid fermentation uh, is pretty similar to alcohol fermentation. So our first step is going to be glycolysis. So we're going to produce pyruvate from this glucose, as well as two ATPs and two molecules of NADH. So unlike alcohol fermentation, though, pyruvate can just be directly reduced to lactate. So it doesn't have to change into a different intermediate first. But again, we're still going to use those two NADHs to actually reduce the pyruvate to lactate and in that process regenerate NAD+, that way glycolysis can continue to produce ATP. So just a quick overview, the first step of any kind of fermentation is going to be glycolysis. And we need that to produce the ATP so our cells can keep going, as well as the NADH that we'll then use to reduce things into the final products, either ethanol or lactate. So when we use the NADH to reduce things, it's going to regenerate NAD+, that way glycolysis can keep on running and producing ATP for our cells to use. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. Thank you.